have to. I 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 have to. What?
Hi guys, I'm Alessio, and welcome to AM Garden Show. And I'm excited to introduce you to the interdisciplinary project Senai. I got here Olga Kiseleva, right? Yes. <laughs> and uh, please introduce uh, your band and uh, your project and tell me more about everything, please. Well, first of all, thanks a lot for having us here. It's an absolute blast. Uh, once again, my name is Olga, uh, and um, a couple of people decided to put together a multidisciplinary project. And what we're trying to do is uh, involve various media together and tell one story with the, with the purpose and, f and force, with the means of different uh, type of art and media. To my right is Dmitrius, and uh, he is playing a beautiful instrument, lyre, which is a Greek lap uh, fiddle. To my left is Chris. Uh, he is uh, our visual art <laughs> guru. Uh, and uh, he's uh, working on uh, analog video synthesis and video projection. And to my far left is Fatini. Uh, and uh, she's a designer and a painter. And she's doing live painting during the performance. Our project is called Zenai. And it is a Greek word which is Fatini and Dimitris as well. And I would like Fatini to give us a really quick uh, introduction of, uh, of word Zenai. Thank you, Olga. It's a pleasure to be here, Alessio. Thank you again. And uh, Zenai, we came up with this idea. Um, it's an ancient Greek word that means foreigner, uh, welcoming a guest into your home. Um, that might seem strange or unusual, but, but bringing that into a place of comfort. So I came up with that idea because I thought that's kind of like what we're doing is taking these different worlds and these different elements and kind of bringing it into kind of like a place of comfort and, uh, and making it one. And so what might seem strange on the outside can be a gift or a surprise or a piece of art. So that's uh, the idea of where we came up with our name and we hope to continue exploring that concept more. So this is really interesting, guys. And uh, I want to do a couple of questions. First to you, Olga, how you create a song, the process of the creation of, a, of this project in particular. But uh, we want to know something more about you as a composer, as a musician. You come from Berkeley, right? You already graduate. Okay. Away from graduating, I'm counting days. I'm not counting weeks anymore. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like any artist would say the same thing that uh, process of of creating and composing is always different. It always depends where you're trying to go, where you're trying to get. Uh, for this particular, uh, this project was growing gradually, and it is still growing, and it was still uh, exploring new elements. Uh, however, we did have a, a common idea. We, we had, we had a thought, and we thought had a storyline, and this is how we started. Not all projects start like this. Many times you just fiddle with sounds. Uh, and uh, the main idea of this project was uh, leaving something something all behind, rediscovering uh, your new identity and let it grow and letting it out. And this um, suggested certain lyrics like light in me and small light is that passion uh, inside of you that grows and you can't contain it anymore. You have to let it out. So those ideas dictated certain gestures of how, you, how I started the track of building something from nothing uh, and bringing elements of our surrounding and how musical uh, they can be those elements of fire, passion, like our inner self and soul dictated certain parts of the art uh, where Fatini is studying with the, with the light, with something small and inside that finally grows, uh, grows out. And then uh, go uh, going further out, uh, we were really thinking conceptually and uh, musically, how can we continue the same story but be very contrasting? And that's why second part is studying with drums, something very sharp and edgy, some, uh, this force that fights against against us and against what we want to let out and grow. So it was a very conceptual project, but it came out in a very musical and artistic way. That's, good. That's really, I, I'm impressed, guys, because you play very, very good. And uh, the, the performance that you did is incredible. The paint and, uh, yeah, and you, man. <laughs> can, you, can you talk about what you're doing, <laughs> what you did? Because, man, the stuff is crazy. I think it's really good. This sure, is your mic. Oh, it's, can I, I own it now? Is that the deal? Um, <laughs> oh, okay. So what I'm doing for this project is analog video synthesis, which is essentially using 
older video technology that allows you to bend color and be able to shape it in real time. So essentially, I'm using different oscillators just like you would in music, but they just have a different bandwidth, more like a shortwave radio, that allows you to, one, generate video patterns using sometimes audio range and sometimes out of audio range, and then using other types of filters and blending matrix ideas to be able to essentially shape it into completely different forms that we would have normally never seen, especially with how modern day television is, something you don't often see. Commonly, people use video feedback as a very artistic way to use video you know, cameras and televisions, but this has really opened up a whole other door uh, from the company LCX Industries that allows you to essentially complete, completely create abstract imagery that is completely something you would not even see in your own head. So This sounds like something unique. Yeah. This is really cool, and I'm so happy you are here, guys. And uh, I'm going to talk about w with Dimitri. And uh, wow. <laughs> First of all is, wow. I got a shiver on all my skin during your performance. Can you introduce to the, to the audience your instrument, your, your lira, right? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. So the lira um, is a string instrument that is played with a bow that comes from Greece. It has 21 strings, 18 sympathetic strings, and three main strings. And in this project, it represents the sound of inner strength, how you overcome your own fears, your own boundaries, your own difficulties, and you reach uh, higher levels of activity. And I think that that was uh, both a very smart and a very risky move by Olga to have in that pro <laughs> project. <laughs> uh, but it works really well because it really very well captures like the primal instinct and the, the earthy sound, like the very human, like deeply human character of you know growing from deep within, outside without you know any restriction. So yeah, that's that's my role in this. And thank you, Olga, and thank you, everybody. So uh, I want to make another two questions. One with Fotini. <laughs> another amazing performance. You remember Fotini for the first episode we did. And uh, can you talk just a very shortly about what you do? It is amazing. And the collaboration and, uh, with this guy, with the video, is something really, really impressive. So if you have, if you can say something about that, please. Yes, yeah, so uh, Olga and I started this project with an idea, as she explained, um, and so I was thinking about that little light and fire and then allowing it to grow, and um, so then as we started to introduce more elements, uh, we brought in this video, and we came up with the idea, uh, what if the, the video was moving on the, on the, on the canvas, and, and what kind of illusion would that create for the viewer rather than projecting straight on, and um, kind of like it's like this magical element that just kind of comes to life. So playing with that, we created this new type of easel structure um, in using some uh, traditional materials and kind of putting together in a totally new way. And um, it's so interesting to me to paint in response to the video as well as the music. It's two things, two very strong, powerful elements that I'm responding to, and then trying to kind of tie it all together with this gestural mark. Um, so I think for me, that's that was a very exciting new territory to explore. And what we've come up with is, uh, I think, something really interesting, a cross between a screen and a canvas, and uh, the moving image with traditional painting. So that's a little bit about where we are with the project now, and I'm really excited to see what happens with the third element. We want to develop this piece more. It's a three-part trilogy. So what you saw tonight was two, two parts. Um, and uh, interesting to see what the final piece and what the final painting will look like at the end. So thank you again. <laughs> Welcome. So guys, Olga, you have some contact, some website, some place in the world, in the web net. <laughs> <laughs> you live in the woods. Please tell me if you got some contact for you, for the band, or for the project, or everything. When you said for the project, I realized that we actually don't have much going on for the project. We don't have 
any website or place, or even even Facebook page where you can check on this particular project. However, all of us talk a lot about it on our own website and on our social media, and everybody is more than welcome uh, to check on that and follow us and that way see it and I'm sure the more the project grows and uh, any support we can get f about this project is all welcome. Uh, ideas are always welcome, probably the more uh, of a presence the project will have. So I can just pass it around and uh, say my information, uh, content information is Olya Music, O-L-Y-A music.com. Olya is uh, yet another our artist and stage name for me uh, when I when I perform. <laughs> it's oilymusic.com. Uh, uh, On Facebook, you can find me by my first name. And uh, for Dimitris? Yes, uh, my website is called Menex Music, M E N E X music.com. The same is my Facebook and all my social media, so it's going to be easy to find me. My, no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, same as. Same over there is at C S Kanopka, K O N O P K A, and that's every all my social media, and that's my website. So. Okay, okay, repeat again, and we put here. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. C S K O N O P K A. That's fine. Dot com. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. So my website is my first and last name dot com. So Fotini Christophilis, and I won't spell that all for you. We have it right here. You can see. Uh, and I have uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook Fotini Studio. My first name then Studio. So check me out. And I'm always posting new blog posts and new work. And I'll be posting about this uh, performance tonight and our future projects. So uh, yeah. So guys, thank you so much. Really, thank you. I'm so honored to have you as a guest for this episode. And uh, I want to thank you all, the crew, for the AM Garden Show, for Alan Kaufman, for all the volunteers here. And, uh, okay, sit down. And, uh, guys, f follow the, the show, in the AM Garden Show, on our official website. And we put here, too, close to the guy. It's www.amgardenshow.com. <laughs> And uh, thank you so much again. Bye. Love